Hey everyone, SillyCat2 here. This is my 10th Let's Play, and... Wow, what a way to start an episode, eh? I lost track already. <laughs> this is kind of stupid, um... So yeah, I've been, uh, wanting to do this game for a while now. This is low volume! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you get to see what this game is now. This is La Mulana. It is in... Indie game developed by now. Who's that? Oh, it's Animus. Uh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um. There's not really much to say about this game, I guess. I just want to. Well, I can't. Th I'm trying to think of things to say about this. This is an indie game developed by. GR3 project in 2004 for the PC. It is, the company is now known as Nigoro. It is an indie game developer. Um. Yeah, the Kobami thing is just kind of silly. Uh. Yeah, I guess you can see the intro now since things got a little. Off track there. Yeah, at one point I was considering doing like a s totally serious Chugga Conroy style walkthrough run of this, but you know what? Screw that. It's just not fun and it's not me. I just want to like play the game and have fun playing the game. So that's what I've decided I'm going to do. I might still do the enemy bios in Golden Sun the Lost Stage, but well, you'll know when I start uploading that, I guess. So yeah, as you can see, it was just like two or three guys that made this LP. Or, not, not this LP, this game. What am I talking about? <laughs> I'm so stupid. She came from the sky and became the mother. The mother has been waiting. The mother has been dreaming of the day when she returns. And yeah, you get to see this really cool uh, intro thing here. And then the awesome theme of the game plays, but we are going to ignore that and just start the game. Finally, I got to La Mulana. The adventure starts here. I don't even know what that was supposed to sound like, as usual. Uh, yeah, so here we have, uh, Lamisa Kosugi. He is pretty much Indiana Jones, only Japanese. Anyway, we start in this little, uh, village here, and the first thing you're gonna want to do is grab these coins and, uh, go into this shop here. If you press down to enter shops, I guess. This is the MSX shop. Please buy something. And yeah, the thing with Lamiza is that he carries his laptop with him at all times. You can see right here the little MSX thing. The MSX was a uh, laptop that was... It was a computer standard that I guess was pretty popular in Japan for a while. Like back in the 80s maybe. I don't know. Konami made a lot of games for it, and you'll actually be collecting the game cartridges as you play through the game. You can see all the uh, different cartridges you collected here. Right now, the only one we have is Game Master. This will allow us to save our game at the Elder's Place, but... I don't think we want to have that equipped right now, actually. But, uh, whatever. Let's go talk to the Elder. So, do you want to save the game? As you can see, you actually have up to five save slots, but if you have the Game Master equipped, the only one you can save in is the first one. You'll unlock the other four save files later in the game. Which is kind of weird, but, eh, it's a cool little thing, I guess. Welcome, youngster. Those like you who challenged the ruins of La Milana were never heard from again. You'll just be another one of them. Not that I'm mine. <coughs> I'll open the entrance to the ruins. Do as you will. 
<laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and do just that then. Um, I have these weird uh, Castlevania birds here. And you get to see pretty much what Lamiza can do with this little whip of his. Ack! Knock back! Ugh. Yes, the damage you take from the enemies isn't all that great. As you can see, even with his little vitality or HP or whatever it is Lamiza has, he's in pretty good shape still, I think. But, uh... Yeah, you get knocked back really far by these enemies, and it gets really annoying at times. Yeah, as you can see, he's starting to lose health now. And these uh, cylinder things are actually just, you know, paperweights. You put them on pedestals and stuff, and they're kind of like keys. Anyway, we see here the introduction of treasure chests. Treasure chests contain useful gadgets that you can pick up. For example, this thing here is like the most important item in the game besides, well, maybe a few other things. This is the shell horn. It lets you know whenever you've solved a puzzle or fallen falls into a trap. It goes like, doo -doo 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 -doo, whenever you solve a puzzle, and it's like the best sound you'll ever hear in this game or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I actually don't think there's anything past here that we can get right now. Yeah, see? It's just a waterfall here, and waterfall is deadly because Lamisa cannot swim or something. Or, he can swim, but apparently he, like, dissolved in water or something, and it, like, uh, drains his health and stuff. Yeah, weird stuff. So until you get the thing that allows you to breathe underwater, you will want to stay out of the water. Which is a pain for reasons you will see later in the game when we even get that far. But as for now, what we actually want to do is, uh... That's right, we want to actually go into the ruins now. Anyway, you see that little red thing down in the corner? That's the pedestal for the weights. You need to talk to the Elder before coming here, otherwise the ruins will be closed off. Anyway, yeah. This is how you get in. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of logons buried here. Weird stuff. Dramatic entrance. Anyway, yeah, this is the first air of the game. This is a guidance gate. And right away we got a little thing to make our journey easier. This is a life jewel. It increases your max HP by, I believe, 9. And you start with 8, so already we have more than double the life we had at the start of the game. These skeletons here, uh, I'll get into that later, I guess. There are ways you can interact with them, but, uh, other, but right now all I can really do is kill them. This thing that looks kind of like a, it has a crown on top, that will come into play later too. Yeah, we start off with like nothing, just our whip and our laptop. I mean, it would be nice if Lamiza could get on the MSX, or not the MSX, the La Mulana Wiki, it would help him plan out this uh, run through a little more, but he's got me instead to do that for him. So, yeah. <laughs> and I suck at planning. So, yeah, just a little indication there of how bad this is gonna be. <laughs> I have played and beaten this game before, but I have never quite 100%ed it, and <clears throat> yeah, there's stuff here. Anyway, whoops, we just kind of uh, fell in a trap here. Anyway, the first thing we want to do is uh, get 20 coins. And we probably do not want to go down there because there is spikes down there, and spikes are bad. Like, you know how in uh, Spelunky, spikes are insta-kill? These are not like that at all. They do, like, 1 HP worth of damage, and they're just kind of there to be annoying, not there to make things hard for you. 
They will make hard things hard for you later, but in a frustrating sort of way, not in a difficult, oh no, you're gonna die sort of way. It's a weird thing. Anyway, now we have, uh, 20 coins. We want to head back out to the village and buy another peripheral for our MSX, because that is what this game is all about, upgrading your computer and stuff. I can't wait for this game to come out on WiiWare. It's got a whole bunch of new weird changes to it, and it's already out in Japan, which really bugs me, because I want to... Right, because I'm sure this game has a much bigger Western fan base than a Japanese fan base. Although I'm not making any guarantees, and I probably know next to nothing about games and their fan bases. Anyway, we have the MSX2 here, which lets you uh, use two cartridges at once. <coughs> we have, I believe this is a waterproof case. Yes, this allows you to use your laptop underwater, and we cannot do that right now because we do not have enough coins. We have a little shield here, I will probably buy that later after grinding for coins and stuff. But uh, this is what we're here, this is the hand scanner or the handy scanner. This is an actual MSX periphery and as you can see it is in the sub weapon slot, you use your sub weapons with M. Anyway, I think what we want to do... I think there's a thing we want to do with this first before we, uh, go do anything else. It's up here near where we got the, uh, shell horn over by the waterfall. This will be a 100% run of this, possibly including the Hell Temple. Of course, that's supposed to be a secret to everybody, even though it isn't really. I will be getting all the game cartridges though. Rapids ahead, if you're not confident in keeping your balance, do not enter. Anyway, I think you're supposed to read that and then come back and read it again, and yes, you get the Konami Pinball cartridge, which does absolutely nothing at all, as far as I know. Anyway, uh... Alright, now that we've done that, we can enter the ruins for real these. And wah crazy stuff. It's crazy stuff. Anyway, back into the ruins, and we no longer get the dramatic intro, which sucks because it only plays the first time and that just kinda sucks. But it's cool, it's epic, you know. These ruins are full of traps. I no longer have the energy to escape. So yeah, the guy died like right in front of the entrance, and it's really weird and creepy and tragic and stuff. Anyway, you want to examine that skeleton there to get the athletic land ROM. Can't read these letters. Only about glyph, glyph reader. So yeah, you died, and you never know what the letters will say because you suck, and you have no money. These things. These things. Yeah, but These tablets cannot be read unless you have the Glyph Reader equipped. It is a cartridge for your MSX. And you need to buy it. So yeah. Konami Tennis there. That was completely unintentional fail or win, depending on your perspective. And we totally have things here, and what's this skeleton guy doing down here? This isn't a trap, is it? It's a trap! Ow! And I fell into it regardless of my careful intentions. Am I totally sounding like Raukow here? I could swear I totally sound like Raukow here. <laughs> Which is okay, because Raukow is awesome, but uh, anyway. Ack. No, 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 no. It's with kangaroo weird rat things. What are these things? I have no clue. Anyway, what we want to do is, like, go down here and stuff where there is more stuff. 
and there are these weird bug things, and you do not want to put a weight on that pedestal because it is a trap. The smiley thing will fall on you, and that's really all I have to say on the matter. You will, however, want to put a weight on this pedestal here because that will give you the map for this place. Not that that means anything because we can't read it without another car NSX cartridge, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Anyway, adi 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 adi, and we do not want to get hit by bats. Anyway, yeah, you see that little green EXP bar there? That is for something entirely unrelated. Yeah, it's not so you can level up or anything, it's just kind of there. And if you fill it up, you get a... Uh, your life refilled, and that's about it. That green gem there, I want to get that. What does that do? It solves a puzzle for us. Which is good, because now we have an elevator running between the rooms over there. I actually think I'm going to end off by uh, running into this trap and not totally not getting my butt kicked. Because, you know, that totally happened. Not for these monsters, it would be nice and quiet ruins. Yeah, no kidding. What was all the traps about? I think I really like it. Anyway, we got a Mahjong Dojo here. How many times have I fallen in here? I guess this is a trap too. You just realized that now, dude? Like, seriously? Dude, 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 dude. Whoa, fire pig thing. Why is there exploding pigs? This is not The Legend of Zelda. I don't even know if that makes sense. Anyway, uh, real quick before we die here, there is a thing that I want to get that will help us out throughout the game a lot. This is the shortcut I found. These ruins seem to be interconnected in mysterious ways. Yeah, a weird thing about this game is that it is non-simply connected, which is a topological thing, I think, or topographical, whatever. Where, uh... If you, like, have a whole bunch of areas that you can't make, like, a simple 2D map of the area, like, connecting all the areas, then it is non-simply connected. It cannot be done in three-dimensional space, pretty much. And here we want to get that cup thing, because that is, like, one of the most helpful items in the early part of the game, and even in the late part of the game, and... BATS! 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 Die! 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 Thank you. Anyway, we have here the Grail, and now the thing about the Grail is, apparently there are shops in these rooms. I'm about to die, so it doesn't matter to me, though. Well, gee, that's really optimistic of you. Anyway, yeah, the thing about the, the Grail is if you go to the F2 screen and you type a number, for example, zero, if you've been to that area and read a waypoint tablet using the Glyph Reader, the Grail will warp you to that area. So it's a very neat and handy way of pretty much warping back to this place and being able to save your game. And since we're just about out of time here, I think that would be a nice place to end off. So I guess I will end off. See you guys later.